What's up, Bass and friends? This is Mr. Bass, and I hope you're doing well. I love to fish, and I love to bass fish mostly, but Mr. Bass will fish other species, and especially if I can catch really giant fish. So several years ago, my good friend Pat uh, persuaded me to go with him to Canada to fish for some big northerns, pike and walleye and possibly muskie. And so I uh, loaded up and went with him to Canada and we got on a float plane and we flew into a lake called Confusion Lake. Wilderness air. There's our planes. There's our guys. time we didn't know it but confusion lake apparently has trophy muskie in it but we didn't know that so we didn't even think about muskie and to my knowledge we didn't catch a muskie the whole time we were there it was uh in the summer and the grass uh, the fish were either in the grass shallow or they were out deep and we couldn't catch the deep fish we didn't know what we were doing but we did catch a lot of shallow fish uh, there just weren't any huge giant fish. So there was lake trout, there was pike, and there was walleye. And we went up there not knowing what we were doing and just trying to experiment. And we have tried different lakes since. And each year we get a little better and we, we figure out what we're doing a little better. And we have started whittling away bait. So, you know... There's so many things that you're that that you hear. Things like this is what you need to catch big pike or muskie. And this is called a medusa. And this is actually a smaller one. They make really giant ones. And so I took one out and fished with this and about killed myself. It's so heavy. And it's heavy to it's heavy to cast, it's heavy to reel, <laughs> it's just heavy. And I did catch a couple of fish on it, but never any anything of any value. Then this was another one type bait that we were that we were recommended. And it's jointed, it floats, it has a bill on it so that you can get it down a couple of feet. It doesn't go very deep. We had a green one, like a fire tiger one, this shad one, this one. We could never get bit on that. We tried it a few years and we quit. We also had some solid ones. People swear by these and this just proves I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to big fish up north. Um, because I know guys swear by these things and say, yeah, they catch fish great but we've never had much luck with these. So I don't fish with these anymore. Same with this. They told us, you know, you need really big baits, big topwater baits and big diving crank baits. 
And for us in the parts of Canada we've fished in, these have never really worked for us that well. But we have had baits that have worked. This is probably the squirreliest one that I've actually caught fish on. It's a very erratic, crazy moving back and forth bait. It of course doesn't, it looks ridiculous, but it actually, I've caught fish on this. Still not lights out though. So we've experimented over the years and we have whittled it down to a few baits that really seem to work well. If you're trolling for like lake trout and other, other fish kind of a little deeper, these Rapala crankbaits work fantastic. And we've caught lots of fish trolling with these. Also, these do well. This color works great up there. It's kind of a perchy color. And then these also do okay. Other ones that we've done really well on are these bad boys here. This is called a blue fox with a number six blade. The Super Vibrex and the silver version works good too. And then the uh, MEPS with the same five or six size blade on it catches them. Although we've had better luck without the skirts, without the feathers, without this, but I know those work. We've had better luck with the plain Jane ones or with a little bit of red, like this one, we've had a lot of luck with. By far though, the best luck we've had is with spoons, the flutter spoons. The Johnson, the Lynn Thompson, and the Johnson fluttering spoons, this five of diamonds, and this is our favorite color, this yellow with red. Seems to work better than anything. This size is a little too big. We've caught fish on it. But here's some of the better sizes. Look at this. It's only a couple inches long, but look, you can tell it's beat up. I've caught quite a few fish on this. We've all caught tons of fish on these on these uh, daredevils. Um, this is a three quarter ounce. By far, I'm not going to Canada without these. They're fantastic. Here's another one that works. That's not red, it's black. Another thing that works great are these silver minnows. Johnson silver minnow. Now this has the five of diamond pattern on it, which works fine. But really it's these silver patterns that we've had the most luck with. Silver pattern or gold. But the Johnson Silver Minnow definitely is the way to go. And those five of diamonds. And then we've got a few other ones. This is a new one that I just started fishing last year. I don't know the brand. I caught a ton of fish on this one last year, so I gotta find what brand it is because I gotta buy some more of these. I was really happy with these. Worked great. This little guy worked really good too. But there was one lure that was brand new last year. Here's another one, the Cyclops. The MEPS Cyclops works very well with pike. You got the silver, you got the gold. These all work great. Even this white works well. It's white on one side, silver on the other. Excellent, excellent lure we've had a lot of luck with. Here's another spoon that works. This is the Red Eye Wiggler. Here's a little bigger one. Caught fish on both those sizes. Here's a giant one, I haven't caught any fish on it. The Red Eye Wiggler. The bait that lights out. It was a brand new bait that one of my buddies tried last year, Jason and none of us had it except for him. And he was crushing them, crushing them. He only had two, two of those lures. 
he had one, he gave one to his brother, and then uh, we got to use them periodically. But they were crushing it, so I made sure I got some this year. And I got an order in from Bass Pro Shops to show you what I bought that we were killing it with. Okay, this right here is the exact lure he was killing it on, the Storm Flat Stick. Now, he had a different color. I couldn't find that color, but I will eventually. I found it in a jointed version. This was the color. It's called Chartreuse Yellow Perch. Or six and a quarter inches long, weighs an ounce, one and three quarter ounces. This flat stick, Jason was tearing them up on. And all he would do is chuck it out there, wind it back in, over and over and over. And eventually, after a week of solid fishing it all day long, sun up to sun down, he started, he lost, he lost both of them eventually. So the last few days, none of us had them. But this flat stick, flat catches them. It's, it is the real deal. That looks like a great lure. Very loud, tons of flash, wide, wide movement in the water. It does this. This one shimmies a little more, but same thing. It has a lot of. So, these are the bomb. These are definitely lures I'm super excited about on our trip this year. If, due to the coronavirus, we get to go. Don't know if we'll be able to travel up there by the time it's time. Now here's something that was recommended that I have not tried that I'm going to try this year. The rattle trap. Now I throw a lot of rattle traps for bass, but these rattle traps are ginormous. They are an ounce and they're huge. They're four inches long and they weigh an ounce. They are huge compared to normal, normal rattle traps. But looking on YouTube, watching videos, just like this one, that's the way we learn. And I found a guy up there that said, man, for big pike, this is what he throws. In fact, I saw several guys saying, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try some of these this next year, especially in the grassy areas. See if it doesn't pay off. This is a chrome, goldish chrome color. And then this one is the red, red and white. I think they'll work great. So I would love if, if any of you guys, any of my subscribers or watchers are guys who fish up north for big, big fish. I'm a novice at that. That's not what I do. That's not what I'm good at. I would love your tips. I would love your secrets. What works up there? If you could share with me, I would love, love to find that out. Fishing for big fish, no matter what species, is always a blast. I highly recommend going up to Canada and fishing for those big, big ones if you can. It is a ton of fun. And... Just the adventure of flying in on a float plane, that's a blast too, you know. So there's a whole lot of things about it that's really, really fun, really exciting. But uh, hope this interested you. It was really an unboxing video. It was going to be an unboxing of what I bought, bought at Bass Pro. Flat sticks. I got a bunch of them. So I don't want to run out in Canada. There's no tackle stores up there if you run out. You're isolated. And rattle traps, that's all I bought because I got tons of spoons. I got tons of the other stuff that I'm gonna need. So anyway, good talking to you guys. Hope you have a good one. Hope you have tight lines and fun fishing. Until next time, we'll see you.